This video introduces the idea and practice of the transfer of merits of reciting the Lotus Sutra. And let me explain the spiritual benefit of this practice and how you can start doing this. And toward the end of this video, I will guide you where you can start today. So I'll be glad if you can stick around till the end. It's uh, 4 or 3 a.m. right now here in the U.S. and my kids are sleeping so let me talk quietly. So I'm awake because I have anxiety. So my sister is in Japan. She's right now delivering a baby <laughs> at a hospital uh, there in Japan. So she's in pain and let me introduce you the practice of the transfer of merits by talking about my sister and my anxiety about it as well okay so in japan unlike like common practice in the u.s like a moms normally don't take a pill that numbs the pain at the time of the deliver delivering the newborns so she's been at the hospital more than like 15 hours or so right now and um, nobody, including her husband and other family members, are, is allowed to be with her in the same room because of the concern of the COVID. So we've been uh, communicating through this app uh, on my phone. So a couple of hours ago, before shooting this video, she wrote to my wife and my mom saying like, I'm in pain, it's really hard or something like that. In that case, what can I do to support her and deal with my own anxi anxieties over her situations? And how would you approach someone distanced who or whom you're really worried about in your everyday life? So, but in our everyday life, the kind of this kind of feeling of the distance applies to many other situations that seem to be like beyond our reach, right? How do you deal with your anxieties after your uh, important job interviews? After you submit an application for a college or a graduate program? The hardest moment is hardest moment is always until you find out. That's the hardest part. That's what I'm in right now. So if you resonate with this kind of situations in your everyday life, what's going on in your life now, let me know in comments. So, but here's good news for you and me. There is a way of transcending this distance and doing actually something about it. So that's the Buddhist idea in practice of the transfer of merit. Traditionally, the recitation of the sutra generates some spiritual power. And I've been doing this practice more than like 20 years or so. And it's been helping me go through difficult moments like when I had an almost mental, almost, not completely, but, but almost mental breakdown when I had an unhealthy relationship with my co-worker. I really uh, can't, couldn't get along with, it, with that person in the past or when I, after I was mugged in the street in the city of, I probably shouldn't be disclosing the name of the city, of mugged and um, traumatized for a year. I couldn't go out. And when my father was slowly dying because of sickness while well, he was in Japan and I was myself in the US because of the PhD program. In each of these situations, I recited the literature a little bit longer than usual. And during the recitation, you see a bunch of like in the literature, a lot of like uh, Buddhist images and ideas that trigger your active imagination, spiritual imagination, and more you do it, the Lotus Sutra makes you feel at home with it. So it's like a coming back, returning to your spiritual home every time you recite the Lotus Sutra. And you, that makes you feel confident. And then after this recitation, you go like, I mean, I feel this oftentimes, like, okay, I'm still worried, I recognize. But I know I've done everything I could do. So just let this difficult moment be rather than trying to control it because the Buddha's presence will take care of the rest of the process. And I can be less worried, still worried, but less worried, sort of confidently worried. So what did I do to my worries about her situation? 
Well, I held her in my heart and recited the Lotus Sutra. That's what I did an hour ago. This is how I have been helping myself and others in my everyday life. The sort of recitation of the Lotus Sutra has been really, really powerful and help you stay strong. Still nothing. Hopefully she's okay. I mean, hopefully my mom is okay. <laughs> Anyways, here's an invitation. So there is an opportunity for you upcoming starting next week. So meet winter sutra recitation practice on Zoom hosted by Risha Kosekai of North America, Arkina. So this is 15 days long practice from January 20th through February 3rd. And you can find more information in the description box or you can also find your own local Risha Koseka community doing this practice at, at their Dharma Center too. So let me include that information below as well. Okay, if you're worried, don't let yourself worried alone. Let us worry together and the worry will be less. Thank you for watching. See you soon.